Welcome back to the series of where my dumbass decides to use one weapon class on all Treyarch Zombie games, and today's weapon class of choice is sniper rifles, uh, which is actually quite a relief for World at War, considering I actually get to buy a sniper rifle immediately on this game. So hopefully, and I know I said this last time, but hopefully I don't die on round four. This time, can, can we? Can I at least get to power? You know, can I at least just possibly, maybe get to round ten if I'm like super duper lucky? Now, the thing with World at War snipers is, uh, for zombies, they all suck. Like they are all just catastrophically bad. You could argue the PTRS is good, but it's the PTRS. It's like walking around with a literal cannon that you'd find on like an old pirate ship in your hands. It's so heavy. It's so slow but it's super powerful. So, the goal is probably to get the PTRS. I think I will also try and stick with the Car 98K, because let's be honest, who in their right mind willingly wants to use a Springfield in Zombies on this game? Because I know for a fact it ain't me, and I might be a bit of an idiot when it comes to Zombies, but I'm not that dumb. I also apparently don't know how to aim today. Well, I mean, I say today, it's like every day for me, but like, we're getting there. <laughs> and I'm not even worried this time around. Not even worried. You know, I thought I'd be—I thought I'd have this level of like calmness about me when it came to the shotguns, but nah. Just being able to pop them off from range in the head. <laughs> oh my god, it's so nice. However, I know for a fact I'm gonna—I'm uh, gonna be in a bit of trouble in like I think it's this round. That it stops. Yeah, it's this round. It stops being all one shot to the head. So now I'm in a bit of trouble because when they start getting close to me, hey, that's when death happens. I also, ooh, I, mm, I, mm, mm, I might, mm, I want it, but I want points, you know, and nukes aren't how you get points, but they are how I protect my booty, and I don't, oh, I regret not taking that nuke now, I regret not taking that nuke now, I regret not taking that nuke now, oh, bollocks, I should probably open these doors so I can just protect my ass, let's not stand still when there's zombies running about on this game, they will windmill me, with no remorse, and I will die. Oh, the Tommy gun will be very nice right about now. Is the Springfield on the wall on this map? I don't know if it is. You know, I really don't know if it is. I think the Type 100's in there. But, for the first time in this series, we have power on Doris. Oh my god, it's great. Now, if you're thinking yourself, like, why do I always do this on Doris on this map? The main, the main reason is because it's, like, it's the most modern, like, World at War map. And by that, I mean, like, it has pack a punch it has power, it has perks. Like, it has all the things, like, the modern maps have. Whereas, like, obviously with World of War, like, you know, Verrucked and Shino have perks, but they don't have pack a punch <laughs> Nacht has nothing apart from a box. Whereas the Reese kind of has it all, you know? So it kind of makes, like, the challenge, like, fair across all games, even though, uh, you know, I'm probably about to die on round four. But it kind of just makes it a little bit fair. For myself. Oh, he's way closer to me than I thought he was. Oh, this is not what you want to see with the- Oh, I'm dead. Oh, this is death. Yep, yeah, no, yep, yeah, no, no. I'm not dead yet. Emphasis on the yet. Now, there is also a part of me that kind of wants to lump marksman rifles in with snipers. Because, like, marksman rifles aren't exactly, like, a gun class on every Call of Duty. But, like, they are there. Because, like, obviously, the Gewehr is a marksman rifle, right? It's, you know, or DMR, whatever you want to call it. The M14 on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 is the same class. But then Black Ops 3 doesn't really have them. Neither does Black Ops 4. Cold War obviously does have, like, an entire class dedicated to DMRs and whatever. Or it's like, or tactical rifles, whatever they're called. So there's a part of me that's like, maybe I do it, maybe I don't, but I don't really know. I feel like people would shout at me if I do. Also, I really want to get jugged before I get abused by a dog. You'd have- why would you spawn there? Okay, now I'm dead. Now I think I am dead. This gun is so useless. And because I have to, like, chamber the round- I'm dead. I'm dead. Nope. Yep. There we go. The dogs are literally just game over. The dogs are so powerful. But round five, I'm fa I'm fairly certain that's the best we've ever done. Actually, I think this is joint with shotguns, but the shotguns won. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> if you've been around this channel for a while, you'll know I said I'd never play this map ever again in my life because of a certain Easter egg video that I did a couple months ago. But this map does in fact have the scavenger. And the scavenger is, in fact, a sniper rifle, which when paired with PhD is incredibly good. Going back to the last question, or the last topic, I should say, on whether the M14 is classed as a sniper rifle. On this game, there is a quote by Nikolai, where he says, Snipers, they wear diapers, 
whenever you buy the M14. So I'm gonna allow it. Now I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Some of you are gonna be like, ah! Just leave me alone, okay? I know some of you are like, oh, it's not a sniper rifle. I don't care. This is my channel. And if you haven't noticed, <laughs> I like to break the rules. I like to live life vicariously. I also like to annoy people <laughs> over the smallest of things. I can't, that is so terrifying to seeing George back there. All menacingly and spooky and horrible. This map does in fact have the scavenger, which is ridiculously good. However, I also hate this map passionately. Not because the map's necessarily bad, just because of past experiences on said map, having to hit the box 115 fucking times to get the VR11, which I'm still not over. But we're here. Now, if I can get the scavenger and PhD, speed cola and quick revive, <laughs> I had to think of my other perk then, which I do already have, we're sorted. I can easily get to round 30, possibly even round 40, because the scavenger, even though I know we all like to meme on it, it's actually not that bad when you pair it with PhD. I'm, I know, I know, I know, but it isn't. Even though, like, even though you are required to have PhD to actually make the gun useful, it's pretty damn good when you actually get it going, you know? It's, it's not bad. I've got to actually acquire the damn thing. And it's only available in the box. And my my box look isn't exactly uh, very good on this map, <laughs> but uh, we can try. We can pray. We can hope. Until then, though, I have an M14. I could possibly get the Dragon of out of the box. There's the uh, the L96A1. I think it's called. I don't know if there's any other snipers. I don't know if the PS1 or whatever it's called, or the PSI, or I don't know what the gun's name is. I don't know if that's in the box on this map, or even on the game in general, to be honest. But there is a few snipers available, and they're not that bad. God, I've just thought as well, imagine, imagine this game had Double Tap 2.0. And imagine the scavenger with Double Tap 2.0. My God, that thing would be unstoppable. Because like the scavenger is ridiculously powerful. The reason why it's so bad is because of the fact it has such a massive like AOE effect that will affect you and will kill you. Which is obviously the reason why so many people dislike it. Now, do you know what would be lovely? Is if luck is on my side for once in my life when it comes to zombies. I hit the box once, and we get the scavenger. Or the Dragonov. That's a spectre, <laughs> I think. The other good thing, though, is about the, uh, the M14 is when you pack a punch it, it's actually very good. Getting the amnesia is so good when you pack a punch it. I just need to get the scavenger. I just need to get PhD. And then I just need to get speed cola. And we're grooving and moving. I can easily get to, like, minimum round 25, round 30. You're now sprinting. We don't like that. I only have M14. Oh, God. I actually think my next plan of action should be pack-a-punching the M14, now that I think about it. Because, like, obviously, like I said, I've got I've to rely on luck to get the scavenger. If, if, you've, if you've ever seen me play Call of the Dead, you know luck is something I don't have on this map. I also don't have bullets. Oh, God, I need to go buy some ammunition. I actually don't really know where a good place to stay is on this map at the moment without the scavenger. Like, out in front of the lighthouse is usually where I train and probably where, like, everyone else trains on this map. But not having, like, a good amount of bullets consistently is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I think I can probably just keep training them around in the area that I've got. Like, if I can, I can run them around from here up around here, right? Take out a few stragglers where I need to, or just ones that are close, get some points. Then we jump down here. I save bullets, because I've just realized I have none, basically. <laughs> we try and train them together a bit here, and then we run back around to spawn, buy ammo, and then repeat. I think that's the play, until I at least get pack a bunch or the scavenger. Preferably both. Of course, it would go there. Oh god, I pissed him off. I shot him. Oh no. I know. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, I think he's fine though, because he's already in the water. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Insta kill is actually huge. Alright, George is in the water. Give me that back. My little amnesia. Oh, I have a pack of gun. I have a pack of gun. This is good. This is really good. This is really, really good. I'm not trying to think. Is there another game? in the Treyarch series that has a sniper rifle wonder weapon. I guess some people could make a cause for the for the wonder waffle. I just need to remember where speed caller is on this map. That zombie scared the shit out of me, if you couldn't tell. I think I know where speed caller is. I just need to actually get to the damn thing and buy it. Go on, just do it to me, just do it to me. Scavenger, I don't want that anyway. <laughs> that gun sucks. Oh, but I did get a sniper though. The L9, the L96A1, oh dear. Thank God that killed him, because I would have died otherwise. All right, I have a sniper, though, which isn't actually that bad. The, L the L96A1 is probably, like, one of, like, the fan favorite sniper rifles. I love how, like, I always, like, break out into song whenever a zombie scares the crap out of me. It's not screaming and shouting. It's, I'm going to sing <laughs> in fear. 
I think I'm gonna go and buy Speed Cola. Or do I grab PhD? No, I'll grab PhD when I've got the scavenger. Is there a way? Yeah, there is. I can open the door there and then run down. Open. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I don't open that door if I can help it. And I know I'm gonna spend a few more points, but I'd rather keep the bottom door closed. I open up this door, and then I know this is a bit of a pain in the ass to get to speed color later. But like, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it's actually there, which it is. I have the bug. Great. This is great. My ears. I have to go down the slide again to fix this bug. Do I really want to run all the way around again though? Mm, probably. Should do that. I probably shouldn't kill that zombie, but oh well. I'm now gonna be stuck with this for a round. I, I could just shoot him right in the noggin right now. Just right between the eyes. I piss him off for it to satisfy me. I bet going down the slide again fixes this audio because my god, it's so annoying. Oh, thank god. My ears. My sanity. Buy the perk so I don't die. Ooh, Matryoshka dolls. Won't actually kill me because I have PhD. <laughs> Scavenger. You little shit. I'm not taking that out of spite. Fuck that gun. Like the most useless thing to ever exist in Call of Duty Zombies. I hate it. I hate it so much. Mm. Oh, come on. I've had the rig on twice. And you're not going to give me the damn scavenger? Oh, I swear to God. I'm about to blow this zombie into kingdom come if he hits me one more time. I am too poor to afford that. Never mind. I got, I got rid of my gun. I got rid of the wrong gun. I got rid of the wrong gun. Oh, shit. Oh, this isn't good. I might be screwed. I just was not paying attention to what I was doing. Um, I, it looks like I gotta go buy an M14 again. How do I do this every time? I did it with, I did it with Origins with a shotgun. I did it with, oh, god damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm fairly certain I did it with pistol only, didn't I, as well. This is not what you want to see. Round 16 with 10 points and an unpack punch M14. Nah, this, this isn't it. This, this isn't it. This, I, I, I'm, I'm fucked. I ran that entire, you're telling me, you're telling me. I ran that entire way with the Galil. I bought the box and then switched the M14 and got rid of it. That must have been like some subconscious shit because I, I, don't, I generally don't even like recall switching guns. I just, I bought the box and then my M14 was gone. That was like straight up just some like subconscious shit. <laughs> like, oh no. Out of all the guns in this box, I think I've had about 10 of them. Like genuinely, I've had the CZs, I've had the L96A1, I've had the HS10. <gasps> <laughs> I just really was not expecting to get it then. Alright, pack a bunch is still there. It's not gonna be there for long though, which is a little annoying. It's like I know I like I get Yeah, there we go, literally this bit. Like I get like why they do stuff with pack a bunch to make it move, to make it a bit more interesting, blah 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 blah. Make maps harder. But like out of all the mechanics, I do think the pack a bunch moving is the most unnecessary. Damn, I still does a lot of damage, huh? <laughs> As I was saying, I do still think the pack much moving is the most unnecessary mechanic. I just, I just, I like, I just like it being in one place. You know, I'd, I'd much rather take random, uh, random perk locations or random like perk spawn locations, I guess, than having the the pack much move. Like if every game I played perks were in like a completely random pl uh, position, I'd take that absolutely. If as long as it kept kept the uh, pack punch in like the same spot the entire game. Like I know it's probably like a, just a me thing, but like you know, it's just one of those one of those thoughts. I hit him. God damn it. Like I said, this thing's AoE is so large. I actually can't believe the scavenger's like demise is genuinely because it's too powerful. Like it's just it's just so incredibly powerful that it actually kind of like hinders the weapon a bit. Like it's actually kind of nuts. I am now realizing though, BO3, BO3 could be a bit of a challenge. Because you you can't buy you, I mean, you know, quotations around sniper. But you can't buy snipers on the wall on BO3. Like, BO2. Oh, God. Oh, God's death. Well, as I was saying, on BO2, obviously, the M14 is viable on a few maps. I actually think it's viable on all maps. Um, Diarize has, um, you know, that one semi automatic one, but it's, di it's Diarize. And who honestly wants to play Diarize? Because fuck that map. Um, oh, dear. I'm dead. <laughs> 19 rounds. Unpack with M14, scavenger that would have killed me there. There was not much I could have done. As I was saying, before I was so rudely murdered by zombies, <laughs> BO2's uh, selection of snipers isn't great either in terms of like the amount. There's obviously the DSR and the Ballista. The Ballista is Bible on the wall on Origins. Well, that means playing Origins with only snipers and plus the last video I played Origins. And I try and switch up the maps every video and whatnot. 
Um, there is that semi-automatic sniper that is on the wall on Die Rise, but that requires you to play Die Rise, a map that I will actually refuse to play. Like, straight up, I hate that map, and I don't want to play it ever again. Um, and then, obviously, the M14, like I just said, it's available on most maps. And I thought, you know what? Considering we're going to be using the M14 again, I thought I might as well do it on a map that where the odds are stacked against me, which is exactly what Nuketown is, you know? You don't get perks, and you pack a punch from the get-go. You got to wait. It could be around 20 before I get Jug, so I could really be screwed, you know, going forward. So I thought, you know what? Considering I'm using the M14 twice in a row, I might as well do it on a map that is actually, like, you know, stacked against me. <laughs> like, where the odds are stacked against me. So, here we are. But, like I said, the DSR is available. And the DSR, uh, pack a punched, and if you can manage to get the sight taken off of it, and when you get double tap, oh my god, it's so good. So if I can get that, we could be in business. If not, I'm probably screwed. <laughs> The zombies in this game are also kind of terrifying, so I don't know if I want to be, like, two-shotting and knifing to try and get points because I will get windmilled, and I don't want to die in round two, even though that would be hilarious. Also quite embarrassing, <laughs> and I'm not about that. That's landing. Is that landing in the court? No, I can't land here, can it, surely? Or is it? I don't know. No, it's landing in the, landing in the back. That looks like a perk. Please be jug. I think I can see it from here because I think it's in... It's speed caller. God damn it. I mean, speed's good. I think early on, I'd rather, like, I think speed's the one you'd want, you want last. I'm not gonna lie. For me, anyway. I think the, the, the order I would like is jug, then either double tap or pack punch, then speed. That's the order I like getting it in. I am not knifing you. Absolutely not. <laughs> but, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that. So, give me the DSR. That's type 25 that I can't use. The Barret. Oh, the Barret's also in this game. I completely forgot about that. Oh, the Barret's so bad, though. <gasps> and of course, a maximum ammo drops, and I'm gonna get windmilled and trapped in a corner. Thanks. <laughs> I love how, like, they make zero noise until they're right up behind you, and they're like, hey, I'm one centimeter away from you. I'm now gonna scream at you. I'm in a really bad spot. I'm in a really bad spot. I completely forgot about that zombie. Out of sight, out of mind, and all that, you know? I need ammo as well now I think about it. Are you kidding me? There's no way I got hit. Oh, yeah. I hate the BO2 zombies. They're so aggressive. They just hit you so fast. I also hate the nuke in this game because it's literally the worst one. Great, I need to go buy that perk again. You know, the one that keeps me alive? <laughs> the blue one? I've also just really thought as well. BO4 also doesn't have a sniper on the wall. Like the Essex, I don't, does the Essex count as a sniper? Like what is the Essex? It's, it's, a, it's a lever action, right? Like is a lever action a sniper? Is it a carbine? Is it a marksman rifle? I don't know. Like, I don't know enough about guns. Otherwise, because, like, BO4 could be actually really difficult. Because, like, how do I then get a sniper on that game? Because, like, there is some pretty good snipers on that game. The SDM's great. The, uh, the Vendetta's incredible. It's just acquiring them is going to be a bit of problem, you know? <gasps> is that, is that, is that, is that, is that, is that? It is. It's a Barret. Give, give, give. Alright, I'm just gonna see if I can get to this box in time. I can. If that's the DSR, I'd be very happy. It's not a DSR, it is a cap. The worst gun to ever exist. There's nothing anyone can say that will make me say otherwise. You can go fuck yourself. I don't ever want to take that thing. Okay, I changed my statement. The war machine is the worst thing to ever happen in Call of Duty Zombies. And then the cap. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, bollocks. Oh, no. All right, there we go. Oh, that zombie. You just... Oh, you see him just jump over the fence? The, right at the death. I thought I'd made it out, and then the zombie's just like... <laughs> you thought, huh? You thought, huh? Well, you thought wrong, pal. <gasps> Ammo. Oh, no. I don't want to talk about it. I turned around so fast. I, I, like, I moved my mouse so fast then to turn around. I somehow did a 360 and got myself killed. I think this is going to be pretty damn difficult because I don't have a weapon that I can cheat my way around using because the Shiva is quite literally categorized as an assault rifle on this game. And I don't think... I'm trying to think. Is there, there isn't a sniper on the wall on this game on any of the maps, I don't think. So I've chosen Kino because I'm comfortable with this map. I'm also comfortable with the game mechanics on this game that I can get enough points to get myself to the box and just pray that I get like the Dracon the SVG. I don't remember the names of all the other snipers in this game, apparently. <laughs> but, like, the Dracon is obviously, like, the goal for this. If I can get that, then we're golden for, like, 30 rounds. But knowing my luck, it's gonna be impossible to acquire. I've also made the decision that I'm not gonna buy Quick Revive. 
until I at least get a sniper. Like, I don't see the point in buying Crick Revive if I'm if I can't get a sniper, because then I'm just basically running around with a knife, not doing anything. So I'm I'm gonna avoid buying Crick Revive. It could come back and bite me in the ass. It might. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't, but yeah. I'm also not allowing uh, gobble gums and like elixirs when I get to BO4. I'm just not doing it <laughs> because I don't want to. I apparently just want pain. Hopefully by the end of this round, I can be at like, you know, four to 5,000 points, which if I am, I can probably make it to like the dressing room just before the stage, which isn't that bad of an area to be in. Grab that. What? Uh, mm. I'm thinking about it, but like, I'm not gonna. Like I have some pretty powerful gobble gums equipped, so I'm just not going. Going to. I'm just not going to. Uh, where's the box? Oh, I was really hoping the box might be in here. No, I might look. It's on the other side, and I've risked it all for nothing. You son of a bitch. I was really hoping I might be on this side of the map. Or it's in stage. Fuck. Um. Oh no. Ooh. That was so risky. I am now in trouble. I'm going to have to buy the Bowie knife, and I'm going to have to pray that I don't die. Yay. I'm screwed. <laughs> Oh my god, that zombie was pissed. <gasps> the box. I still think I'm going to go for the Bowie knife. I'm also thinking, oh god, BO4 is going to be so difficult. <laughs> BO4 is going to be so difficult. Like, I know, obviously, World at War is always going to be, like, in the conversation of being the hardest. But, like, in terms of, like, the maps I can actually do, or the game, sorry, that I can actually do well on, I do think BO4 is going to be the hardest one. Because, like, the perks are all ridiculously expensive. I could get a Thero Razor and then that holds my knife over for, qu for quite a while. But, like, it's expensive, you know? It's five and a half thousand points for that perk. Unless I run, like, the extra credit elixir, which I don't want to. I think I'm, I'm honestly kind of screwed. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to knife my way to that many points on that game. All right, I am once again out of ammo, but I do have some points now. So, hopefully, we can get some goodies out of the box. It's a very good gun, but I can't use it, I'm afraid. Oh, you're gonna give me the dingo so soon. Oh, that's just pain. That's just pain. I've also just realized this is the first time I've played Kino since I got to round 100 without leaving this room, huh? Kind of wild. Or at least I think it is. First time since I played BO3 Kino, anyway. That's a waste of points, but box. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. How how can I manage to pull the ray gun before an SVG? Huh? It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Oh, that dog came zooming. I can't hit him with the knife. I can't hit him with the knife. Oh, I hate the dogs. Why are the dogs the way they are? I just couldn't. I, I thought I hit him twice, and I missed both times. I just couldn't hit the damn thing. Well, <laughs> no sniper for me. But this time, it's Tag the Totem. And I know we've already done Call of the Dead, and we also did Tag the Totem on the last episode of this. But this map has a sniper variant of... The Wonder Waffle. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to, like, get out. But it does have a sniper variant of the Wonder Waffle. And if I can get my hands on it, then that's pretty damn good. It's actually very fitting as well that, uh, Tag the Totem has, like, a sniper variant of the Wonder Waffle, considering, like, the, uh, the what's it called is on this map, the Scavenger from the original. I kind of like that. All right. So I have I've started with my Strife, mainly because I've got the little stiletto knife so I can knife things. Uh, but I'm going to go this way. There's my Brew, which is Winter's Whale. So 3,000 points. It's not too bad. First things first, though, to get my uh, Wunderwaff, I need to make my... Actually, no, I need to find an Icicle um, before I think do anything. Is it you? No. That looks like it could be it. Nope. That looks like it could be it. Yep. There we go. Give. All right, there's my high school. Uh, I have 2250. That's actually quite a decent number for points. I'm going to make my way around to try and find a crank. All right, there it is. Give me that one. It goes right here. Open up that. I don't... Is that where the crank spawns? No, it spawns here, which it isn't. I'm also going to quickly go and place the icicle in here. There you go. Get that melted. Oh, I always forget where the crank spawns in this area. I know it spawns in this little crevice, which is not there. Oh, God damn it. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to give me that. I'm going to place that in there, and we turn that. Our icicle should now be melted, which it looks like it is. Not. Never mind, it is. Give me the key. I need to go see our hermit boy at the top, but I need points for that, so... Double points. Damn it. Yeah, I can't really knife you there, because I'm going to take the nuke, and I need points. All right, two to the leg, then a knife. Or just two in general, then a knife, I guess. This could be bad. This could be bad. I need you to hurry up. It's round six, pal. All right, it's two. Oh, I've got to shoot them twice now for sure to get the one-hit knife. I feel like I shouldn't have ended the round. But this is fine. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this really isn't good. 
Oh, this really, really, really isn't good. All right, I think now I'm at the step where I need to go over here. And I need to do the soul box step, I think. Oh, <gasps> it's so expensive. Oh my god, four and a half thousand points for the Koshka. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so pricey. Why? Oh my god, I missed. Okay, I don't know how to aim, apparently. I completely didn't realize, though, there was actually a Koshka on the wall up here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. We're doing this again. Oh, fuck you, dog. I hate the dogs. I hate the dogs. Why are the dogs a thing? Why do they exist? Huh? Like, I... Oh, they make me so internally angry. I fucking hate them. I am very glad, though, the Koshka does seem to be, like, half capable of killing zombies. It all just comes down to whether my aim is capable of, you know, hitting them. Which is nice, because I feel like we finally got, like, our first proper sniper, even though I know we used the car in World of War. Where the hell am I going to plant this damn thing? It's in here, and I put... We open this. This is the soul box. I do also have my Ragnarok charged. So hopefully I don't need to use them, but they are there just in case. Yeah, I didn't really want to do that, but I kind of had to. Is it done? It is. Oh, there's more zombies down there. Great. Wait, they can go down here as well? That's cheating. They will be making it to the bottom. Because I'm about to kill you all. Did I clap all three of them? I did. <laughs> Look at this little buddy. Whee! <laughs> I'm so easily amused. I also think as well, out of all the remakes, like all the map remakes for BO4, I do think this one's the best. I do. I think in terms of like the, the raw map, I do think this one's the best. <gasps> do I get my window waffle now? Yes, yes, yes. Give me the key. Let me see a key. Oh, thank you very much. I will be taking this indeed. And there we go. My sniper of Wunderwaff. Give. Give it. Give it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So I also know like this doesn't really work like the... uh the normal version of the Wonder Waffle. Like, it's not like a chain lightning reaction. It's more like... It's more like dead wire. Well, like, even though it's, you know, it's basically the same thing. Like, the, the radius where the electricity, like, reaches to is just way smaller. It's also semi-automatic. It has, has many, many more bullets in a magazine. And it also actually has a magazine, which is kind of weird to me. You know, I didn't really think BO3 would be the one... The, would be the game that I perform the worst in. Even though, like, I know I got to a higher round on BO3 than I did in World of War, I still do feel like my performance was worse. Just simply because of the fact... Simply just down to the fact that, you know, like, that game's way easier. <laughs> and I just also didn't manage to get a sniper in that game. Okay, I can't remember. There's... I'm missing, like, one certain thing to get. A golden pack punch and i just don't remember what it is off the top of my head and i don't want to look up a guide because i'm lazy but i might have to because i don't remember what i'm doing there's like one little bit and like i just can't quite remember what it is i can't believe the one thing i forgot to do was turn on the goddamn power in the ship out of all the things i did everything else off the top of my head and the one thing i forget to do is flick a goddamn switch that i've ran past about three times <laughs> that's just so typical we go up here we open this we flick the damn switch give me that Thank you. I'm then gonna zip line back over here. All right, take that down like so. That should be that. Wait, do I have to wait until the light is shining at the golden pack a bunch? Because if so, god dang it, I'm gonna be waiting a while. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'll get I'll get one little pack a bunch going just to give me a little bit of protection. It's round 15. I, <laughs> I've just noticed. I know it's a bit of a waste considering golden pack a bunch would just like fully max it out, but like. You know, it's round 15. I can't be waiting forever for that goddamn pack to be ready. Or to be like the one in. I'm dead. I'm dying. 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 I don't really know like a good place to be training though on this map, to be honest. Like, I really don't. Like, maybe over in the facility could be decent. But maybe on the ship as well. I don't know. Like, I feel like up here could be pretty good. Even though I know I'm going to go down here now, which is not very good. But I think up on this platform could be like a half decent area to train. And just like run around in a circle up here. But there's so many choke points, that's the thing. I don't really know what I'm doing. Especially considering, you know, I'm using snipers as well, which, you know. <laughs> oh my god, you see what I mean? Okay, this gun is pretty gosh darn powerful though, I'm not gonna lie. God damn, oh, it's active. Yeah, time to pack a bunch of my guns. I should probably also work towards getting the shield. I have no idea where any of the parts are, but I probably should do that. Now that I think about it, goodbye. How does that not break their legs? You know? Like, how does it not just break their legs? Oh, God. Did not realize all the zombies were going to spawn out here as well. How do I get out of here? Um, you know? Please, may I leave now? 
I've had enough. Because, <laughs> my God, I feel like I've been here forever. Round 22. Just grooving and moving, baby. I'm also not going to lie. This this Koshka, the, uh, was it the back of Neko, the back of Nico, however you say it, is doing the work. Like, I feel like I feel like the, the Wunderwaffe, even though it is, it is literally called, uh, like, the Sniper Wunderwaffe or whatever it is, like, translating, like, the name, it does kind of feel a little cheaty doodles because of just how good it is. But this Koshka is, like, nuts at how good it is. ADS time is, like insanely quick the damage is great it's super accurate the fire rate's also not too bad as well like it's very good i didn't think i didn't think this was going to be that good for zombies i just kind of grabbed it because it was there but like i don't really need to try and get the vendetta or the sdm because this is doing the business like the koshka was always my favorite sniper for for uh for multiplayer in this game i mean that and the paladin but like goddamn, it's just straight wrecking these fools it's just so much better than i thought it could be and then you just use the Wonder Waffle every now and then to clear out a big crowd like that. And you go again. And then you miss your easy shots because you're a dingus. Oh, come on. You can't... Don't make me praise you and then miss all my shots because I'm bad. Where am I going? Oh, no. I ran the wrong way. Oh, no. Whoops. Just was not paying attention to what I was doing. Whoopsies. Whoopsie daisies. I thought this, this area is treating me kind of well. So I might as well stick around here. As I would like around 30 before Cold War. So who knows? Maybe, maybe this is, maybe this is, this could be the area that gets me to 30. I think it can. However, I don't really want to curse myself. <laughs> so, hey. no, do not tell me you're not a one shot to the body. I mean, to be fair though, round 26, it is still one shotting to the body for most enemies. It's kind of crazy, dude. I mean, not even most enemies, all enemies, it just one shots relentlessly. So, Koshka's actually doing very well still. Although, I mean, sometimes, I mean, I don't know, I don't get it. Sometimes, like, it two shots, sometimes, like, most of the time it one shots, though. But, like, sometimes it is two shotting, which is a little worrying, I won't lie, because two shot snipers in zombies are literally useless, because it's just a death trap at that point. I wasn't just noticed, I've had firebomb on this the entire time. That's death, as I was saying. <laughs> I had firebomb on the um, on the Koshka this entire time. Usually not an AAT I go for. I think it's kind of ass. I'm not gonna lie. I typically t oh shit. I thought that was a corner to go somewhere else. Oh no 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 no. Remember to press Q, dum dum. It's literally a thing you can press. I don't remember where those perks are on this map. I don't also really want to go to them just yet because death. I was gonna oh no. Ooh. I I was tempted to try and repack a bunch of the Koshka. Try and maybe get. Dead wire or killer vault or whatever it's called in this game. Uh, where is this there's to get me out of here? It's there, but it's covered in zombies, so I can't go that way. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, so it's a two shot to the fire zombie, then it looks like. That's the two shot. Noted. Oh no, no, that slide. Oh god. No, take the thing. Oh my god. Yeah, you dummy. What are you gonna do about it now, huh? Meh. Wait, are they all seriously just gonna stay there? Can I hit him? Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh no, oh no, this is this could be the end. I can't see a thing. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This would be a great time for the Wonder Waffer. That's a max ammo that I very desperately want. God, that affects you from so far away, huh? I'm so close to round 30, I just want 30. It's all I want. Oh, that's a lot of, oh no. Okay, I don't really want to be relying on those, on like the, the, the Ragnaroks. So I think, oh shit. No, no, no. I only had 293 headshots using snipers. And we have once again made it to Cold War and D-Machine for the finale of our sniper rifle only adventures. And holy mother, I did so much damage then. Was that 6,000 odd? Woo! Just under 6,200? Goddamn! And as we all know, as it is Cold War, we are gonna throw in the Rage Inducer. Why not? The Machine is the easiest map of, of the Cold War lot, so do you know what? I'm not that worried about throwing in Rage Inducer with a sniper. It could be a little risky, and by could, it probably will be. <laughs> but do you know what? I ain't scared. I ain't scared. All right, now cut to me dying in round in three, two... No, no, that you were. I died. It's round three. Yeah. Okay, maybe using the sniper and range inducer is not the play. Maybe we just quickly turn that off for now. We're gonna get pack-a-punched. 
Then we're going to turn it back on. Don't worry. I just don't think it's the player right now. The ADS time for this thing is a little slow. <laughs> my hip fire doesn't exist. I've just noticed I don't have a reticle. There's my crosshair. Actually, do you know what? The hip fire is... No, it's still going to be wild. Oh, but these rounds are going to go so slow. Oh, do I risk it? Do I not? I don't... I don't... <laughs> I don't want to risk it. It's a sniper. It's My aim sucks when it comes to snipers. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to. But I kind of want to. But I don't want to. You know? You feel me? Like, you know, no wonder this game is so friggin' big. Like, when you look at these maps and you see just how detailed they are off in the distance. It's the same when you look at Warzone as well. Just how, like, detailed, like, the background is where you don't even, like, play. Like, they've got, like, a full-on city that you don't even play in when it comes to Warzone and, like, the background. Like, no wonder these games are so fucking big. It's kind of gnarly. I got a ray gun from it, and I can't... I didn't even know you could get guns from those. I mean, I didn't you could get guns, but I didn't know you could get that from it. Are you kidding me? The first time I ever get a ray gun from one of those, I can't even use it because I'm doing a friggin' snipers only challenge. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. I've only ever had one perk from one of those in the year I've been playing this game, and I've never seen... I've never seen a gun above, like, blue rarity come out of that, or come out of one of those. And I just now get the ray gun when I'm doing snipers only. That's pain. That is pain. It is a very satisfying gun to use, I'm not gonna lie, the Pellington. It's, it is very satisfying. I do like it a lot. And that, like, I actually liked Cold War multiplayer, because I'd play a lot more of this game with these guns if I did. <laughs> but I don't. So here we are. I'm gonna show me that big green face. It does one-shot him. That's just what you want to see in it. It's just what you want to see. But the question is, can I actually hit the two smaller guys in the face and one-shot them? And the answer is, I can indeed, because I'm so good at the game. Even though I only hit one of them. Uh, aim for head and kill head. There we go. Oh, so the... Do you know what? Oh, my God. This is actually kind of infuriating now. I did... I did a ZRG only a few weeks ago. And it could only kill, like, two zombies per bullet. Whereas this is killing four. And it's kind of BS, you know? All right, I'm back to 5,000 points. So I think I'm gonna go grab me a little bit of dead shot. And I also think once I've got me some dead shot, I can probably brave the rage inducer again. I right, turn that back on. Cause like as well, the thing is now is like my hip fire is just so much better now as well. To the point where I don't even think I really need to aim. Or I don't need to aim that much anyway. I also don't know if I'm gonna be putting on like AATs. I mean, I know I was using like firebomb in the last run with the Koshka. But like the AATs in this game are just so much more powerful. The one that I usually run that I'm sure everyone knows about is Shadow Blast. Because it's just so ridiculously powerful. But I feel like it's just a little bit cheaty. You know, it's just it's a little too powerful for this. But I do kind of want to put it on. Boop. I missed. God damn it. Boop. I'm... I didn't miss the second time. <laughs> I hit what was arguably the hardest shot. So do you know what? <laughs> I'm not that fussed. I will say though, it still really it does really still frustrate me. Just how bad snipers are for zombies in Cold War. Like, it does frustrate me. Like, even though, like, it's doing pretty well now at, like, round 15, it's the fact that it only collapsed two zombies and a maximum four. And the four is, like, really rare. Like, I don't know. 90% of the time, you're gonna get a, t uh, a clat of two. You might every now and then get, like, a, a three-piece. But, like, to hit the four, it's just so rare. Like, I don't understand why they made snipers so weak. It's just kind of dumb to me. Considering they put out such a high amount of damage anyway, like, why not just, like, bump them up to, like, six or seven clat? It's... Just, I don't get it. And even all the buffs they did for snipers for, uh, for Cold War Zombies just really didn't do anything, in my opinion. Like, I just don't feel like they bothered. And it's the one thing that annoys me, because I, I, I do genuinely enjoy using snipers in zombies, because it's just a different type of challenge. Because, like, with zombies, you know, you usually just, you get a fully automatic gun, or you get a wonder weapon, and you just blast, right? Whereas with snipers, like, you actually do kind of have to play a bit more cautiously. You can still play aggressive, but, like, you've still, you know, if you play aggressive, you got to be better at the game, basically. So I don't know why I keep doing it. <laughs> but, like, I do like the challenge of using snipers, and I just wish they were better. All right, I have 24,000 points. There's no point me pack punching just yet, so I might as well save me points and get some perks next round. God, I love Tesla Storm. You just turn into a literal wrecking ball <laughs> when there's insta kill. Although, now that I'm doing this with very little armor and no field upgrade, this could be risky. But we're gonna do it anyway. I didn't have enough points for that. Are you kidding me? There's no way, man. Oh shit. 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 Ugh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Well, that's two downs. I knew doing that was a bad idea. 
I honestly think what it is with Cold War is I'm at that I'm at this point with this game where like I just don't bother trying anymore. <laughs> You know, like I, I like even with the challenges that I know I should be trying, I just don't. My brain just kind of turns off with this game, and it's not because like it's bad or I don't enjoy it. It's just because I've played it so much, and because like this game is obviously way easier than its its previous versions. It's just I don't know. Like I said, my brain just kind of turns off. I don't really try as much, which does then ultimately lead to me getting myself trapped in dumb corners, and I do end up dying a lot of the time. But I still don't think it's gonna change my mind about anything <laughs> or about how I'm gonna play the game. Oh, that's a Megaton that I just jumped over. That could have been death. If he grabbed me then, <laughs> I would have been fucked. Okay, so we're not one showing the Megaton anymore. So I'm definitely in need of some upgrades. I mean, to be fair though, tier one pack a bunch, purple tier, or purple rarity, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Still a one shot to the head. I mean, obviously, because you know, you use so much damage with snipers. But like, my God, you really could go to like round 30 if your accuracy was good enough with just this setup for this gun. I mean, for probably any of the snipers, to be honest. Well, maybe not the Swiss and maybe not the Barrett, but like the, the bolt, the, the bigger bolt actions, probably. Like this and the Tundra and the ZRG, if you're willing to use that ass gun. I feel like I should have put the barrel that deals the extra armor damage on because it doesn't seem to be doing that much damage against the armored zombies. Even hitting them in the head doesn't seem to do much to them with this. So I feel like I've definitely made a little bit of a mistake there, but it is what it is. I mean, it does like half health to, a, to an armored zombie, which isn't bad. It's not like incredible, but it's not bad by any means. God, I don't know if anyone else who has, like, long hair has this problem, but, like, every now and then, I get, like, a little strand of my hair goes in my ear, like, underneath my headphones, and it always feels like there's something crawling around inside my head, and I hate it. Even though I know it's just my hair, but my god, it's so annoying. And I really do now hope every single one of you have who has long hair who's watching this with headphones on, I hope you all have that same sensation in your head now, than what I did. I'm not sorry. You're welcome. Enjoy it. It's my gift from me to you. Round 30. Damn, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I think that's the highest of the day, right, for snipers? I mean, I think we all kind of knew Cold War was going to be the best, although I do actually think it might be the first time Cold War has been the best in this series. I can't remember. I think I think in every other version of this, I have screwed it up at some point <laughs> doing this. Like, we know, I know for a fact, with shotguns, I know with shotguns, that, uh, it definitely wasn't Cold War. I can't remember with melee only or starter pistol only, to be honest. But you know what? Round 30... The first of the day, it feels good. It feels good. But now we go for 50, hopefully. I mean, 50 is usually the goal I set for all these and all the games. I mean, obviously, I'm never going to get to around 50 on World of War, probably, with some of these challenges. I mean, if I did, then holy shit. But, like, <laughs> I'm not that good at that game. The others I probably could do it on if I was playing, like, the easiest map on the game. Like, if I was playing Kino on BO1. And honestly, I probably do it on Transit on BO2 because it's so big and there's so much room everywhere and you can just navigate the map pretty easily. I've also only just noticed as well, but I'm doing almost 150,000 damage per headshot, which I just think is kind of wild. You know, you pair that with Ring of Fire, you're probably doing like, I don't know, probably close to a million. Kind of wild to me. I just how powerful the snipers are in terms of like their raw output, but then just kind of how weak they are in terms of like over penetrating enemies. Like, I don't get it. I want 40. I'll be happy with 40. My slide didn't work. I tried to proc PhD and it almost killed me. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. How many more zombies is there for God's sake? I feel like I've been nonstop killing for like the past 20 minutes in this round. It's lasting forever. And can we just move on to something else, please? <laughs> I need to buy... Oh, never mind. I don't need to buy armor. <laughs> never mind. Scratch that. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him in the face with my... Never mind, I missed. So I'm just gonna hit that instead. <laughs> what I was gonna do was hit him with the dead shot round, then get the nuke, and then shoot him. But I missed. <laughs> so it kind of screwed my entire plan. Well, I swear I'm killing one of these guys like once every two rounds. What the hell is going on? There's been so many of them. So the game's like, ah, he's only used a Pellington. Let's make his life worse. <laughs> Why not? Did I just see armor? I think I did. No, I didn't. God damn it. God damn playgrounds, man. They're relentless. I was really hoping to drop armor. Oh, no. Round 40, though. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go. We're into the 40s. I'm, ha I'm honestly kind of happy with that. Round 40 is like... That's pretty good with a sniper, in my opinion. Even though I know it's on Cold War. You know, we did, what, round 29 on BO4, which I thought was pretty good. Honestly, don't remember. I don't think I got past round 10. Oh, no, oh, no I got to round, what, 18 on BO1? I mean, granted, to be fair, I was mainly just using the M14, which I know isn't technically a sniper. Is a sniper. Oh, no. 
I only class it as a sniper because Nikolai literally calls it a sniper in a quote on that game. But you know what it is. It is what it is. No, my slide. I aimed the one way and the game was like, aha, it goes this way, yes? Wait, I wonder how many I wonder how many I could kill with PhD and insta-kill. I killed quite a few, huh? Like I said, it's so much more effective than a sniper. It's kind of wild. I mean, it's 10 times more riskier than using the sniper, but it's so much more effective. And it's kind of crazy. Oh, God. I just... Oh. I looked. I looked the way for literally a second. I looked at my other monitor for literally a second. I mean, this is cheating because it's a pistol, I guess. I mean, it is cheating. Kind of. It, I mean, it's not kind of. It just is. That probably is going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, leave a sub. I would meant to say that the other way around, but you know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. God damn you, zombies!